The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union. Cypress Bay High takes on Deerfield Beach High tonight on School Duel. Welcome to another exciting episode of School Duel, where 20 high schools from Miami-Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach counties battle it out in an academic tournament for South Florida bragging rights. And of course, the winner gets to walk away with a school trophy from EDCO, a $1,000 check for each student courtesy of Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union, and of course, so much more. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. As you see, this quarterfinal match has Cypress Bay High School versus Deerfield Beach High School in what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the semifinals. Congratulations of either one of you. But of course, wait, there's so much more during the show. Each student will compete in the Chick-fil-A challenge. Here, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich meals for an entire year. But before we get started, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Let's start with the Cypress Bay Lightning. Going to start off with Ian. Ian, you are a junior. That's correct. We also have Matt. Matt, you're a senior and you're yes. moving on to college next year. Tell Hopefully. us where. I don't know yet. All right, you have time. <laughs> Carlos, you're a senior, college next year? We'll see. All right. All right, Matt is the captain of Cypress Bay's team. Welcome, and you're a senior as well. Tell yes. us, do you know where you're going? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, that's fine. You guys have some time to have a little powwow and discuss that later. Now let's go ahead and meet your competitors. They are from Deerfield Beach, and they are the Bucks. Let's go ahead and start off with Andres. He's a junior. Welcome. We also have Pia. You are a senior. College for you? Not sure yet. Okay, that's fine. We also have Rithi, a senior. Rithi, welcome. College? Not sure yet. Okay, and then we have the captain of Deerfield Beach's team, Kenan. You're a senior and you know the question. College? I definitely don't know yet. <laughs> All right. All right, but... Don't worry, guys, we're here to play some school duel, not to decide on your college right now. Our first round is called the warning shot. Here at School Against School, competing with toss-up questions directed at the entire group. Each question is worth 10 points. And if a question is incorrect, the other school gets one chance to steal the points. All right, schools, prepare for the warning shot. First question starts with art. It's something you might draw with a pencil, and four of them could make a rectangle. Name this thing considered in art to be among the seven elements of design. Ian. Lines. Very good. Moving along, the law. In a criminal case, give the term for the person accused of wrongdoing and put on trial. Rithi. Defendant. Good job, awesome. All right, explorers. He led an expedition in the mid-1800s, charged with mapping all of India. Identify this British namesake of the world's highest mountain. Yes, Ian. McKinley? Incorrect. Oh. Deerfield Beach? Rithi? Everest? Everest is correct. Also known as Sir George Everest. Next question. School sports. Green Bay Packers cornerback Charles Woodson, the first defensive player ever to win the Heisman Trophy, played his college football at this Ann Arbor school, whose mascot is Ian. University of Michigan? Very good. And do you know their mascot? Wolverines? Wolverines, correct. Good job. No points for that, though. I was just being nice. <laughs> Moving along. Plays. The plays All My Sons and The Crucible were written by what? Matt? Um, Miller. Correct. Arthur Miller, who also wrote Death of a Salesman. All right, guys, it's time for the Where Am I question. Contestants, you will be given a famous location and a clue and then asked to tell us the name of the place described. Is everyone ready? Come on, sound a little bit more ready than that. Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, Simone Bolivar was both born and buried there, and Hugo Chavez lives there. Yes, Carlos. Venezuela? 
No, you need to be a little bit more specific. Let's listen very carefully. Deerfield Beach, this is yours. Hugo Chavez lives there when he's not being treated for cancer. Name this capital city of Venezuela, Andres. Caracas. Is correct. Good job. You're almost there, Carlos. All right, next question is Proverbs. According to the proverb, what is, quote, the mother of invention, end quote? Andres? Necessity. Very good. All right. Next question is going to deal with, starts with D. Give the word beginning with D for a three-dimensional scene that shows objects in the front against it. Yes, Matt. Diorama. Diorama is correct. Good job. <laughs> Moving along, science question now. Random collisions between molecules in a liquid can speed the molecules up so that they turn to gas. What name is given to this concept that describes Eva Matt? Evaporation. Correct. Very good. Oh, there's our buzzer, and that means the end of the warning shot round. We do have a very close game. Cypress Bay has 50 points. Deerfield Beach has 40. Please don't go anywhere because we will be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Win an iPad from School Duel and Bright Star Credit Union. It's easy. Go to schoolduel.tv. Submit the correct answer to the Bright Star question of the week, and you're automatically entered into the drawing to win an Apple iPad. You can also vote for the player of the game on schoolduel.tv. A new winner is announced each week based on your votes, and all votes lead to the top player of the season. Visit schoolduel.tv. Everyone is welcome to play and vote. Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. to School Duel. Our first round of action ended with Cypress Bay leading with 50 points, but Deerfield Beach is right behind them with 40 points. Of course, there is so much more to come as we enter round two, the joust. Here, one player from each school competes head-to-head -head with a 10-point question toss-up. The school that wins then gets three bonus questions worth five, and then 10, and then 15 points. All right, schools, are you ladies and gentlemen ready? Yeah. Yes. yeah. All right, because it's time to joust. Oh, was that a good luck? Very nice. Nice friendly handshake and a good luck between our gentlemen. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. We have Kenan and Matt up. What type of light lies just beyond the violet end of the spectrum and causes sunburn? Yes, Matt. UV. Very good. All right, Cypress Bay, that's also ultraviolet for those of you at home who do not know. UV is ultraviolet. Cypress Bay, these are your questions, and they all deal with light. Bonus question number one is worth five points. This object, often made of polished glass, reflects light very well and allows you to see yourself when you look into it. Yes, Ian. Mirror. Very good. <laughs> all right. Bonus question number two, worth ten points. Since light changes speed as it goes from air into glass, light in a prism, may look like it does this. Yes, Matt? Refract. Judges? No, incorrect, I'm sorry. The answer is bend. Oh. Next question. Is your third question, and it's worth 15 points, name the British scientist who figured out that white light is made of all the other colors. Carlos? Newton. Very good, Sir Isaac Newton, that is. All right, moving along, Carlos, Rithi, come on up. Oh, very nice. I, I'm really liking all this cordialness between our players. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. What game is being played in the classic Ernest Lawrence Thayer poem, Casey at the Bat? 
Yes, Rithi. Baseball. Very good. Correct. Airfield Beach, these are your questions. And the following bonus questions all deal with the same poem. Bonus question number one, of course, is worth five points. What did everyone except Casey expect Casey to do when he came to home plate? I'm gonna, I'll read it one more time. Hold on. What did everyone expect Casey to do when he came to home plate? Kenan. Hit a home run. Very good. Correct. <laughs> bonus question number two is worth 10 points. How many pitches did Casey swing at? Yes, Kenan. Three. Incorrect. That answer would be one. Casey is so sure of his abilities that he does not swing at the first two pitches, both strikes. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. What fictional town did Casey play for? Yes, Rithi. Mudville. Correct. Good job. All right. Pia, Matt, come on down. It's your time to joust. Here's your toss-up question, worth 10 points. In the retelling of a famous fairy tale, what animal is kissed by a princess and becomes, yes, Matt? A frog. Yes, very good. <laughs> the following bonus questions all deal with fantasy literature. Bonus question number one is worth five points. Queen Lillian and King Harold are the parents of this movie princess who eventually marries Shrek. Matt? Fiona. Good job, correct. <laughs> Bonus question number two, we're at 10 points. Children fairy tales almost always begin with what four words? Matt? Once upon a time. Yes, very good. In the far, far away land. Bonus question number three, worth 15 points. This book character found out he was the modern day son of the Greek god Poseidon. Yes, Matt. Percy Jackson. Very good, awesome. You guys are doing a great job. All right, last two contestants, Andres and Ian, come on down. These are your toss-up questions, worth 10 points. She agreed to marry one of her 15th, co 15th cousins on April 29, 2011. Name this new wife of Britain's Prince William. No one? All right, that'd be Catherine, also known as Kate Middleton. Next question. So stay there, don't go anywhere. When William proposed to Kate, he gave her the engagement ring worn by this woman, his late mother. Yes, Ian. Diana. Princess Diana. Good, very good. You'll get the questions. Cypress Bay, these are your questions and they all deal with Prince William. Bonus question number one is worth five points. William is second in line to the British throne after this man, his father. That would be Prince Charles. You've heard his name before, right? Bonus question number two, worth 10 points. William and Kate met each other at the University of St. Andrews in this country. Yes, Ian. Scotland. Correct, good job. And bonus question number three, worth 15 points. William married Kate in this English Gothic church. Carlos. St. Paul's Cathedral. Incorrect, it would be Westminster Abbey. And that is the buzzer, meaning the end to the joust. And we do have Cypress Bay leading with 140 points. Deerfield Beach has 70 points. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel just after these messages. Are you interested in learning about TV production? Be a part of the Briar Teen News Team, South Florida's only team-produced news show. Experience working at an actual TV station while learning on state-of-the-art digital equipment. We offer positions in everything from studio crew to school reporter. And for the more experienced students, we offer advanced credits as part of our internship program. If you're a student in Broward and you want to be a part of our team, then we've got a spot for you. For more information, go to www.browardteennews.org and click on Join Our Team. Have you considered taking your high school courses online? Broward County Schools offers free virtual education for middle and high school. Courses include regular, honors, and advanced placement in all subject areas. Take one course or take a full course load all online. Broward Virtual Education welcomes homeschool and private school students. For more information or to enroll, call us at 754-321-1100 or visit us online at www.bved.net while there's still space available. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making a school duel possible. And welcome back to School 
school duel where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's school duel champion. Now this quarterfinal match has Cypress Bay competing against Deerfield Beach High. And over the break, the judges conferred and they are going to give Cypress Bay their 10 points that they deserve for the question resulting in the answer refraction that Carlos gave. Carlos or Matt gave. Matt, sorry, <laughs> that you gave. So congratulations, your answer was correct. And congratulations, Cypress Bay is leading right now with 150 points. Deerfield Beach has 70 points, but don't worry, we have more school duel to play, and we are now ready for the rapid fire round. Here, each school will pick a category. They will then try to answer 10 questions within 60 seconds from that category. Each question is worth 10 points. The other school will then get a chance to steal any missed questions. Now, since Deerfield Beach is trailing, they will have the opportunity to pick their category. Today's choices are starts with K and starts with S. So which category would you like, Deerfield Beach? Starts with K. For Kenan? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, schools, here comes Rapid Fire. Starts with K. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter K. Remember, you do have 60 seconds to answer these questions, worth 10 points each. So cue music and let's begin. The first play in a football game. Kick off. Loose robe worn by Japanese women. Kimono. Canadian area that saw a gold rush in late 1800s. Klondike. Its cities include Lawrence, Manhattan, and Topeka. Kansas. Democrat presidential candidate in 2004. Harry. Major space missions are launched from this site in Florida. Kennedy. Name for a small boat used by Alaskan natives. Division of a police department consisting of trained dogs. K9. Device used to fire ceramics. Kiln. Machine that allows amateur singers to sing along with recorded music. Karaoke. All right, good job. You guys got through everything except just one question that you missed. So Cypress Bay, you now have the opportunity to steal that question. Here it is. Name for a small boat used by Alaskan natives. Yes, Ian. Kayak. Very good. Correct. All right. Cypress Bay, these are all yours, and they start with S. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter S. Each question is worth 10 points, and you do have 60 seconds to answer them. So, cue music, and let's begin. Sharp object, object used by a nurse to take blood from you. Syringe. China's largest city by population. Shanghai. Nickname for winning the first four games of a best of seven series. Sweep. Name of Little Orphan Annie's dog. <laughs> Zucchini is a variety of what vegetable? Squash. National Park in Arizona named after a giant cactus. And Grand Canyon. Stockholm is its oh. capital. Sweden. The rod that connects the rim and hub of a wheel. Spoke. The Druids celebrate this annual solstice at the British location, at this British loca location. Stonehenge. A diagram of an electrical system showing how to assemble it. Blueprint. Incorrect. All right, Cypress Bay, good job. And Deerfield Beach, you will now have the opportunity to answer the questions that they missed. Starting with the first question here. Name of Little Orphan Annie's dog. Skip. Skip is not correct, it's Sandy. Next question, <laughs> National Park in Arizona named after a giant cactus? Saguaro. Very good. And the last question, a diagram of an electrical system showing how to assemble it. Schematic. Very good, all right. And that is the buzzer. That ends our rapid fire round. We do have Cypress Bay still leading 230 points, but Deerfield Beach kicked it up. They have 180 points. So let's go ahead and give them a short break. We'll take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown.
In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program, encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships to team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities, demonstrate a solid work ethic, and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Improve your money skills with Bright Star University. At Bright Star University, people of all ages can log in to learn more about finances. Just choose your age-specific category and pick from a collection of interactive financial topics, including the Visa Financial Football Game, where your team scores by answering money management questions. Just go to www.brightstaru.com. Bright Star University is brought to you by Bright Star Credit Union, proud sponsor of School Duel on Beacon TV. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Joining us, we are back with more School Duel, and we've got a good quarterfinal match going. At Cypress Bay, leads 230 points. Deerfield Beach has 180 points. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the very last round. Schools will go against each other with toss-up questions, but this time, these questions that I'm holding are now worth 20 points. And remember, if a question is incorrect, the other school can steal the points. All right, schools, are you ready? Yeah. All right, good, because it's time for the final showdown. First question deals with museums. Frank Lloyd Wright's Guggenheim Museum is located on what island here in the United States, Matt? Manhattan. Very good. Next question deals with novels. In the novel, The Scarlet Letter, give the first name of Hester Prynne's daughter, which is also, yes, Ian. Pearl. Pearl is correct. Good job. Next question deals with rivers. Name the U.S. river that goes through or past both Albuquerque, New Mexico, and McAllen, Texas, and serves as part of the U.S.-Mexico border. Kennan. Rio Grande. Very good. All right, moving along to painters. A 1620 painting was recently found showing him laughing, which is very different from his other self-portraits that show him sad or unsmiling. Name this Dutch painter of... Van Gogh. Yes. Pia? No. Incorrect. I'm going to finish the question for you, Cypress Bay. Listen carefully. Name this Dutch painter of the Night Watch. Ian. Rembrandt. Good job. All right. Correct. Next question is human body. Which inner layer of the human kidneys shares its name with the part of your brain located just above the spinal cord? Matt. Medulla oblongata. Very good. <laughs> awesome. U.S. history after the Civil War. What term described Northerners? Yes, Matt. Reconstruction. Incorrect. Deerfield Beach, listen carefully. What term describes Northerners who came to the South, got themselves into political power at a local level, and riled up the Ku Klux Klan? Andres? Carpetbaggers. Carpetbaggers is correct. Good job. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the Who Am I question brought to you by Hungry Howie's and Davey in Hollywood. In this question, you'll be given up to four clues about a famous person and asked to tell us his or her name. You guys ready? Yeah. Here we go. He was born August 21st, 1936. This star center won an NBA championship with the Philadelphia Warriors and the Los Angeles Lakers. He is still the only man ever to score 100 points. Ian? Will Chamberlain? Correct. Very good. And he's the only man to ever score 100 points in an NBA game. Next question deals with art. Give the artistic term for an area cut out of paper that allows color to be put on a canvas through the cutout area. Kennan. Palette. Incorrect. Cypress Bay? Matt? Mask. Incorrect. That'll be a stencil. Next question deals with war geography. What European country, bordered by the Czech Republic on the southwest, was the first country attacked by Adolf Hitler at the beginning? Kennan? Poland. Correct. Good job. All right. Next question deals with law. What legal concept encourages writers to contribute to the progress of science and useful arts by creating a temporary monopoly on what they create? Kennan? Copyright. Good job. Correct. 
Chemistry. If you add hydrogen ions to pure water, the pH number will decrease and you will have a lot of what kind of substance? Ian. Acid. Yes, good job. All right, moving along, dealing with literature now, American author Washington Irving was personally acquainted with what British woman who created a story about Frankenstein? Mary yes, Shelley. Yeah. Very good. Next question deals with spelling. A chandelier is a large light, light fixture containing many small light bulbs. Spell the word, word chandelier. And? C-H-A-N-D-E-L-I-E-R. Correct, good job, all right. Next question deals with sign language. Which letter of the deaf sign language alphabet do you write in the air with your pinky? Yes, Pia. J. J is correct. Awesome. All right. Monuments similar to Mount Rushmore. What Georgia landmark displays the three Confederate leaders? Kennan. Stone Mountain. Good job. Awesome. <laughs> Ores. Borax is an ore of what non-metallic element? Oh, I stumped you guys. Boron is the answer. <laughs> All right, moving along. Latin America. Of the South American countries throughout which the equator passes, which is first alphabetically? Yes, Carlos. Ecuador. Incorrect. Deerfield Beach. Colombia. Oh, oh, Colombia is incorrect. It's Brazil. You guys are very close, though. <laughs> All right, month origins. Although the name for the month June has been around for some time, it is derived from a Latin word, Juvenus, which means what? Yes, Carlos. Youth. Youth is correct. Good job. And, oh, I was going to get to the last question, but the buzzer rang, and that brings an end to this quarterfinal school duel match as Cypress Bay held on to their lead with 390 points, but Deerfield was right behind them with 320 points. Great job to both teams. Cypress Bay, congratulations. This win is putting you in the semifinals. How exciting. Congrats. All right, great job to everyone. It also brings an end to the Chick-fil-A challenge. And today's winner is, drum roll please. It is Ian. There we go, Ian, congratulations. Congratulations on your Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich meals for a year. And we want to thank our sponsors at this time for making School Duel possible. Don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you at home have a chance to win an Apple iPad, courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union. Of course, as always, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Wednesday at 7 p.m. as Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High takes on Coral Springs High in the next quarterfinal match. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for joining us. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A and Bright Star Credit Union.